This is a vital conversation people are having right now. It's about diversity and showbiz, and there are some really great things happening at the Soul Pepper Theatre Company. Even Drake stopping yeah. by. We actually spoke to two of the actors on the stage right now to talk about why there's so much buzz. Let's back it up to that infamous picture that went viral with one Drake Drizzy, who came to see the brother's size. Was this a surprise appearance? Did you know he was attending that show that day? I didn't know, and I'm glad I didn't. Okay. <laughs> On the day, yeah. Is, I remember doing the show in mid-performance going, hey, that guy kind of looks like Drake, but <laughs> you, don't really have, you don't really have time for all of that when you're on deck. But, he, you know, he came back to the dressing room, took photos, and he, he and Maz go back uh, to, what's it, uh, Degrassi, Degrassi days. Mm -hmm. So he must have came to see Maz, and, and uh, yeah, he hung out for a while. He, he was kind of moved. He awesome. said he was going to bring back his mom, and one of, one of his, com his, uh, his security detail, he goes, yeah, him, him right here, he doesn't respond to anything, and he was loving this show. I'm like... Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we should get him to come back and see this one. So talk to us about the latest production that's on until the uh, end of the month, February 23rd. It's Jesus Hop the Atrium. What's it about? Uh, Stephen Ali Gerges is the, the writer. Uh, Wayne Mengesha directed. And it's, it's basically the story of an individual who's going through the, the justice system and sort of putting the mirror up to it, seeing how the justice system actually works, what, uh, what's, what's surprising about it, where, where we fall through the cracks. And we also get to meet lawyers, other inmates, and just discuss really the philosophies and morals that, that come along with that. And also, what's important, though, this is the first time that you, you're a trans, trans person, you're playing a cisgender character. Mm -hmm. What does that mean, that, to have that role given to you? I mean, it's, it's honestly an opportunity that I don't think I would have gotten if, if that wasn't allowed for me. Uh, it, there's very few representation uh, characters that represent trans characters in the media these days. And so to, to open that up for us and to let us just be artists and humans first instead of trans, uh, that, that really just gives us an opportunity to show what we have, what we can offer. Mm -hmm. And the themes are really something that we all need reminding of, uh, forgiveness, and you were just mentioning to be seen. Mm. Why is this important for everybody to go see? The, for me, it feels like this is a play about the throwaway people or the people we don't give a second thought to. Like you were talking about that, that piece that you saw at the Vatican where, you know, it, it's, it could be Jesus. You, the people we walk by on the streets every day, the people who we send through uh, courts and all that. And, you know, we don't, we don't really give them second, second or third thoughts. And the show kind of shines the light on them specifically on purpose. And the things that they wrestle with on a daily and just give us the chance to go, wait a minute. I, yeah, these are regular humans. The like same God. issues that we face. You can see Darren and Javier in Jesus Hop the A Train on stage until February 23rd at the Young Center for the Performing Arts.